Hi, I am going to give you a few um, hints or lessons about how to ground yourself and how to help yourself when you're in a bad situation, like if you're at a place that is bothering you or um, you're conflicting with another person that's next to you. Um, most of you know that I can see, feel, and hear spiritual activity. Um, I have also had the gift of discernment and um, different things. There's a lot of other things, but I don't go into that. I don't like labeling. I don't know what it is I do. I just say I'm a child of God, and I am here to help. Help people know that because you are the way you are, you're not the devil. Okay, God gave us those gifts for a reason. It's to help others and to help bring people closer to him that are struggling really bad in a spiritual aspect or st struggling within themselves of um, abuse when they were younger. But I need you to think, um, when you're in a situation like that, I had this um, beautiful, uh, this intelligent woman tell me one time that I need to pull myself out of the situation and pull myself up on a bank and look at it differently. And I thought, what the heck is she talking about? But I thought, well, that's pretty s simple, but it seemed too simple, but it worked. What it was, I was in a, I had went with my husband and I went into this area to help these people. And when I walked into their bedroom, I was bombarded by spiritual activity. I felt like I had just got sucked into a river of moving souls. I mean, they were just going by me and I could see everything and I, and I almost passed out my husband grabbed me and pulled me out and I battled with that for a little while until I understood what was actually happening my mind sort of got stuck in that place so <clears throat> this woman this intelligent woman told me when you're when you're in that place you can close your eyes you can whatever but you imagine yourself bringing yourself up to the bank and looking at it like it's a river at a distance and and I thought well that's pretty easy so when I started doing that I I'd go a little further I'm a saved woman and I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sins and he helps me through everything and I'm filled with the Holy Spirit so when I'm in that situation what I do is I imagine holding on to Jesus's hand and him pulling me up with him and me looking down on what is around me at the bottom and what that is actually doing, that's raising your vibrations in your body. You're raising the vibrations to a certain level, and those other things are a lower vibration. So when you're raising your vibration up, you're, those things are dropping down. You're coming up with God, and you're putting that down, and you're looking at it at a different level. And when I get to that point, I say, thank you, Jesus, immediately. Thank you, Jesus, for pulling me out of that. And then I say, show me the truth of what I need to see here. And he'll show me. And I'll, I'll see it in detail. And what I was seeing that I had never seen before, but what I was in is I was in the river of souls. And I didn't believe that until my parents had showed me that, yeah, that's what that was called because I explained to them what I was seeing. But when you bring yourself up and you look at it differently, then you know how to help that person. You know what the cause is. And you're able to pray to move the river around, move the river out of the room, move it outside the home to where it's not going through the bedroom like it was before. So when you're around somebody who's sitting next to you and they, their energy is just so bad, I mean, they're, they're panicking, they're sick, they're ill, and you can feel that, and you start to panic. And when you panic, that's a bad thing to do. Because you're actually letting that, when you panic, you're, it's a fear. And when that fear rises, then that part of that person comes at you more. And it's a more of attack on your body and on, on your spiritual self than what it was before. You'd be vomiting, headaches, gagging. What you do is you push that aside, raise your frequency. Like I said, know Jesus is with you. 
See that tie from you to that person. Visualize cutting the tie and asking God to heal them and separating you from them. And when you do that, you'll feel an immediate change. But that's a constant thing. That's a thing that you will have to do all the time. If you're someplace and you um, and you don't understand how to do that, how to raise your frequency to where you know you're standing up, you're up with God, and you're looking down, you can. It's like visualizing your bedroom. You see your bedroom. You know what it looks like when you're in it. Well, you're in it. Imagine looking at it from above, and looking down on top of your bedroom. When you look on top of your bedroom, you know where the placement of every furniture is. But when you do that, then you see the dark spots. Then you know where that person, that spiritual person is, or whoever that is in there bothering you. And that's when you start praying for it to leave or asking God to help them with what they need and send them on their way. And that's what I do. If you can't figure that out and you you had another beautiful woman tell, tell me or tell my cousin and me that if she would imagine a string going down through her body and right now it's all wobbly, you know, it's white string, it's all wobbly. Imagine taking and thinking of God, you know, up here and a string coming from him. It's going down through your body and you're straightening it out, out down through your bum, out your feet, and you and just goes all the way out. You straighten it through everything, and you imagine that calm flow of that straightened string down through there, and that takes your vibrations all that's all out here going wah. <laughs> it's taking that wah and it's calming it down and let it more run like a string, or like a a real crystal string. That's the way it's supposed to be, calm. And remember, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. When you have him in your heart, you will have peace. If you don't feel that, then it is not of him. And when you're researching these things, make sure you research it in a Christian-based level. Because if you go in different routes of religions and stuff, and they don't have Jesus in it, and they don't have God in it, then you're opening that door away of allowing something else to come at you that's even greater than what you're dealing with at that time and you're opening the doorway to something that you can't get rid of it will always stay in the back it will always stay back there and wait for a time when you're weak and then come forward i know this from experience if i'm weak then i certain things come forward but as long as i stay strong in jesus that stays back and it stays back away from me stay focused Stay calm and remember, God loves you. He is always with you. He will never forsake you. Rely on him. He is what you need.